Where sword and shield can zip around, avoiding damage, greatsword builds up power and unleashes it all in one strike. Where other weapons need many hits, this weapon just needs one. At first, I thought greatsword was just too slow, and while moving with it out makes you about as fast as something that is very slow, you're not meant to do that. Greatsword's flow of gameplay is one where you unsheathe into an attack, roll, then sheathe so you can run around. This is something I did not realize when I first started, so if you think Greatsword is too slow for you, try unsheathing, rolling, then sheathing again. If that's still too slow, then you can move on. But that one unsheathed attack is pretty strong, and even more so if you're able to charge it up. Your single hit damage is by far one of the highest out of all of the weapons, meaning that if there's an opening for it, you can take advantage of it more than other weapons, typically speaking. You can block with the greatsword, which can save your life, though doing so will drain your sharpness. There are greatswords with all elements and status ailments except for sleep and paralysis, and charge attacks get a bonus to the elemental damage that it does, depending on the charge level. There's a slap attack, which is funny, but it also does impact and KO damage. Each charge attack has a high motion value and a special modifier on top of it to increase damage even further. New in 3rd gen is a second stronger level of charged attack. Greatsword is a great weapon to start out with, but you'll need to understand the flow of gameplay. Remember that the main thing you want to do is unsheathe on an enemy, roll away, then sheathe again when it's safe. In a way, you're sort of reloading or priming your next attack. I won't be going into many advanced mechanics or calculations in this video. This will be more for beginner and maybe some intermediate knowledge. When starting out, only focus on using the unsheath attack. While you want to get into a habit of using charge attacks, when just starting out and especially on a new or fast monster, just use the unsheath attack until you're more comfortable. The weapon and armor I'll be using could all be bought from the equipment shop next to this midi across from the item shop. Let's go over the attacks first, and then I'll give an example of a hunt with a great jaggy. Motion values, or MV, will be displayed up here and are the damage of that attack. Higher MVs mean a harder hitting attack. Press triangle to unsheathe. Press square to sheathe. Hold R while the weapon is unsheathed to block. Press R plus triangle plus circle to unsheathe into a block. Press select while the weapon is unsheathed to kick. You can also kick by pressing triangle while blocking.
Make sure to always grab useful items from the blue box. Great Jaggy should be in Area 5. We can get there using the shortcut to Area 7. I recommend you paintball the monster as soon as you can so you don't lose it later on. Great Sword is a slow attacking weapon, and Great Jaggy almost always has backup. You can use the wide slash to take out the small monsters before focusing on the big one, and or use hit and run tactics. Great Jaggy is a relatively fast monster, so try and focus on using unsheathed attacks almost exclusively. As you get more familiar with the fight, try and be more aggressive and fit in a charge attack or two. Notice how I angled the charge attack slightly as it came out. Remember you can do that. A lot of times Great Sword is all about knowing where to stand and what direction to face. Then you just wait for the monster to run into your attack. Positioning and timing. For a low rank Great Jackie you can also tank some attacks, but don't get into a habit of doing that too much as it's not always a viable option. Great Jaggy just turned away from me. I know it's running away now. Oof, get used to that. I'm crying right now. Remember not to sheathe your greatsword immediately after attacking every time. Sometimes you want to walk or roll around to somewhere safe first. Great Jaggy is limping, so I'll just capture it. Bro. And there we go! As you can see, I hit the monster quite a few times less than Sword and Shield, because Great Sword does a lot more damage per hit. Again, Greatsword can feel very clunky at first, but it will make sense the more you use it, and it's one of the more satisfying weapons to use properly. I recommend you hunt Great Jaggy a few times and make his full armor set and make the rugged greatsword. That will be arguably the best weapon and armor at this point of the game and will set you up for success. Take your time. Be patient with yourself. If you like how greatsword plays or looks, but it still feels clunky and impossible to use, just stick with it. You'll get the hang of it eventually. Until next time.